Well, my name is Bob McCarthy. I'm uh, from North Haven. Um, if you're telling me that 90% of that stuff was going to pass, we got serious problems because 90% of the stuff that's up there are retard thought of. To be politically correct, to get reelected, to play at the sympathies of the people of Connecticut. And sooner or later, we got to do what's right. Now, what's politically correct? And you have to be an American and stand tall and do what's right. <laughs> All I've heard about from Hartford is common sense. Everything that comes out of those people's mouths is just the opposite to Nord. And people should be embarrassed. I have a question on a permit to carry, and, and this is, I, I, I copied this out of the bill I got off the Connecticut Gov site. A valid permit to carry pistol, revolver, of course we're talking about magazines and they add revolver to it, that's beyond me. Um, provide such a large capacity magazine is within the pistol or revolver that was lawfully possessed by the person prior to the effective date. The way I read this, and I'm asking for a clarification, I have high capacity magazines, 17 rounds. The way I read this, I can only have one in my possession inserted in my gun loaded with 10 rounds. Now, can I have three other ones with 10 rounds in them? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. And that's only when you're carrying. Like if, if you're at the house, you can load So I can have multiple magazines, yes. even though they're high caps, as long as they're only loaded to 10 rounds. Thank you very much. According to the line 1122, you can't have any more than 10 rounds loaded in your magazine at home at a range. No. Right. It's right there. You need to add out over the summer. Wait a minute, sir. I apologize. Can I just see that? If, if that's the summary, you just got to be careful. I, I can assure you, when you're at your home or at the range, you can have more than 10 rounds. The 10 round limit is when you're carrying a pistol pursuant to a carry permit. So, one second, sir, if you want. So, just to be clear, I want to be clear, sir, I apologize for that. Earlier. But I just want to be clear. You could have a clip that holds more than 10 rounds, but you only have 10 rounds on you when you're carrying. But in your house, you have 30 rounds, no problem, at the shooting range, 30 rounds, or whatever, no problem, more than 10. Fair enough? Okay, yes, sir. Hi, how you doing? My name is Eduardo Torrealba, and you have spoken on the phone a couple of times. I do have uh, two questions about the uh, clarification regarding this thing. The first one is, um, I have an AR-15, which was uh, Connecticut legal prior to the passage of this law. Now, uh, I always wanted to have a um, um, six position adjustable stock because it's more comfortable. My wife can use it, my daughter can use it, but I, couldn't not, I could not have it because it was forbidden by law. Now that I have to, now that I have an assault weapon and I'm going to have to raise it, can I now have put it, an adjustable stock, a flash hider, or no, no. number one, no. In order, when you register your legal Connecticut, currently Connecticut compliant assault weapon, you have to certify, and the police are going to certify that it's legal. So if now it's got the uh, telescoping stock, if now it has a flash suppressor, now it's not legal under the old law. So when you go to register it, it would be considered an illegal gun that you couldn't then legally register. What about so this isn't it? a pass to load it up with every military element. You're going to have to bring it in. Actually, my, my question, state my, if, 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 perhaps I misstate my question. My question is, after it gets registered, right. now there is a registered assault weapon, then I can put a collapsible stock? No, because you would no. have more than one element. Under the yes, current that's law, that's why it has to be registered. That's what I don't understand. Right. Once it has to register assault weapon. The I registration is not a weapon. license to alter this adding more military features. That's okay. going to make it an illegal gun. I see. And my second question is regarding the section in the law that said that you can have your um, over 10 rounds magazines. And it basically says you protrude, you cannot have it if you protrude from the bottom of the gun. Almost every magazine protrudes. And it's not, it doesn't specifically say if it's just the floor page or the, the pinky holder. It's they were talking the extended max. They're like talking a 
30 round clip sticking out of yeah, the bottom. Clear. Yeah. My, my it, issue is when I'm going to get, if I get stuck and a police officer in the exercise functions has my weapon, a seat drip intrude, how he's going to know that that floor plate that it protrudes two eights at the bottom of the handgun is legal. That will be taken care of. Honestly, it was not the intent of the legislature. The intent was they didn't want a 30 round magazine sticking out the bottom of a otherwise legal handgun. If it's slightly below, that's fine. I mean, I know a COP 19 goes a little bit below. There are some guns where part of the grip is incorporated into the magazine. So those guns would have been, you know, completely illegal. That was never the intent. What they were going after was this the extra long, large capacity magazine sticking out the bottom of the grip. They didn't write the bill terribly well. I have a lot of sense. Senator Fasan, I, I want to say, you and I have spoken on the phone a couple of times. And I got to tell you that I know you work hard to try to uh, stop the onslaught of prohibition they wanted to put on us. And even though I thank you for that, I cannot, in I cannot accept that these monstrosities that they pass has been enacted. And I understand that you made a, a great effort and you struck a deal and that you had to vote for it. But I cannot, in good conscience, vote for you again in the next election. So. I, I understand that and I appreciate our conversations in advance. I understand that. It's an emotional issue. People feel that way. And I accept it. And, uh, you know, I don't like what you said, but I appreciate your comments. Yes, sir. 